French beans are among the most widely grown vegetables for export in Kenya. In Europe, production season lasts from July to September, a period during which the imports decrease. This in turn presents opportunities to Kenyan exporters who are capable of supplying quality produce in high volumes. On today's episode of Horticulture Farming, we feature a young agripreneur who started out big by venturing into growing French beans for the export market. Gideon Boro is a farmer and an exporter of French beans since 2015. I'm a grower uh, and I'm an exporter of fresh vegetables uh, from Kenya to the European market. We do contractual farming uh, in Makuen counties, Machakos, uh, Kajiado, Embu, and Kirenyaga County. As a young farmer, he operates his business under the theme that Ukulima si Ushamba. Living up to this theme led him to aggressively grow his farm, now dubbed Louis Farm, to grow more French beans for export. At some point in his business, the demand for his produce increased by a huge percentage that he could no longer satisfy his clients. Other than sitting in a comfort zone, Gideon came up with an idea to contract farmers to grow French beans under his supervision, then supply to his clients abroad. And most of the young men and women, they are avoiding to do the farming simply because they have degrees, they have masters and blah, blah, blah. But come to think of it, in Kenya, we have almost 45 million Kenyans. And all these Kenyans, they have to eat. We must feed them. And there's huge opportunities in farming, where, which most of these young men and women are realize if these opportunities are there. So for me, uh, the reason why we do contractual farming is that because my own farm cannot afford uh, to have the quantities that we need to ship. So what you normally do is to have the small scale farmers uh, join hands together so that we'll be able to attain the, the quantity that the, the clients want overseas. Contract farming involves a pre-agreed price between the investor or company and the farmer. The agreement is defined by commitment of the farmer to provide an agricultural commodity of a certain type at a time and a price in the quality and quantity required by a committed buyer. Gideon took us round one of the farms he has contracted to farm French beans. This is Namelok Farm in Kitengela, where they have planted French beans in some portions of the 15-acre farm. Here, Gideon highlights the factors he considers while selecting farmers to contract and how he conducts quality checks for the farm produce. We do farmers recruitment, you see, and for farmer to have the qualities that we want first, he or she must have good source of water because normally anything to do with French beans, 95 to 98 percent is irrigation farming. So they must have a source, good source of water to make sure that we can be able to sustain the market throughout the year. The other thing we look at when we are doing contractual farming is the, the farm locations. You see, we cannot just go to a farm which we are not within uh, the region that we normally have those contracted farmers. And the other thing is the farm site. As a company, we have to do the farm visit before we engage that farmer. For a new farmer, if you are a new recruitee, we always advise you we start with half an acre. Yes. From there, all the regions for the market, we have, uh, we normally go with the market, uh, the market, uh, because we have off-peak and peak season. We normally go with the market up there. Like for the high season, normally comes in uh, from Feb to May. To June, narrows down until September. So starting from December, starting from September, that's where the high peak comes. So we engage a lot of farmers on that time. Then what you normally do is just uh, add. If they're doing two kilos or five kilos, you add it to 10 kilos then from there we'll be able to have the quantity that we want for the, for the export market and what the, the market targets. Gideon attests for the farm to produce the best extra fine variety suitable for his export market. 
A kilo of French beans from the farm level fetches between 50 to 100 shillings depending on supply and demand. This is one of our contracted farmers and he's one of the best actually. The acreage is 15 acres as you can see. And total production in a week goes to almost a ton. And this is where we, got, we, we normally get the best, best, best extra fine of 6.0 mm. European market loves the grade one French beans, which is extra fine or fine. Therefore, Gideon ensures that this quality of production is adhered to for market satisfaction and growth of his business. What we normally do is we need to have the best grade one. They call it grade one in the, U in the European market. We must have grade one quality. And that can be only be attained if we have good agronomists in the farm, technical advisors in the farm, and uh, making sure that the seeds that we are buying are certified seeds. Yes. There are several varieties of French beans. Gideon ensures that all his contracted farmers have planted the Samantha and Amy varieties that produce the extra fine grade which is preferred by the European market. We have a lot of companies supplying us with seeds. Uh, they are all international companies. But the variety that we grow, we do uh, Samantha and Ami variety, which we normally get from uh, Monsanto's. All these seeds must be certified by Kefis. So when you go to buy seeds as a farmer, the first thing I'll look at, where is the Kefis certificate of approval? That, okay, you guys, you can go ahead and buy. So the moment we buy the two bags or the 10 bags, the Monsanto's as a company has to, uh, to, to issue as with the certificate, the, the certificate that they were given by Kefis. Gideon elaborates how he vets farmers to contract to grow French beans for his market abroad. So what you normally do is to make sure those farmers within the region or are closed within where our vehicles can go, we start a new station in that region, we normally look at how many, if you are one in that region, you see, get another five farmers from the same same region because you cannot recruit one farmer unless he or she will be doing a large scale yeah after contracting the farmers gideon assures to walk the journey with them while providing farm inputs and advice for quality yields for us to be able to maintain the quality as a new farmer as a show of commitment we take uh, we advise farmers we do uh, he or she must first buy his or her own seeds. But it is uh, us who will direct her where to go and buy the seeds. So it's one way of commitment. Then from there, lot two, the company supplies the farmers with seeds. We are taking a short break, and when we come back, we will get insights on how best to farm French beans for the export market.